Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the LFU cache design and implement a data structure for least frequently used cache. It should support the following operations: get and put. Get key get value will always be positive of the key if the key exists in the cache. Otherwise, return negative one. Put the key value. Set or insert the value if the key is not already present. When the cache reaches its capacity, it should invalidate the least frequently used item before inserting a new item. For the purpose of this problem, when there is a tie, two or more keys have the same frequency, the least recently used key will be invalidated. So the requirements of this problem is that we need to save all keys frequency and track the size of the cache. Because when it reaches its capacity, we need to remove some listed used node, listed frequently used node, and we also need to implement these two operations. One is get. We first check whether if if the key exists, if it exists, we will let the frequency of that key increment by one. Otherwise, just return negative one. And、uh, for the put operation, if the key already exists, we just need to modify the value of its corresponding key, and then call the get、uh, function again. Because we just change the frequency of that key. If the key da does not exist, we need to add a new key value pair into the cache, and if necessary, we need to invert a key. So how to solve this problem? Let's recall the LRU cache, which is least recently used cache. In this problem, we just need to track the visited order. We do not need to record the frequency of each key, and we use the doubly link, linked list node and the map for the use of the doubly linked list node. Because if we use the doubly linked list node, when we remove a node, the time complexity will be constant. Uh, for the use of the map, we can quickly get the node when we know the key. We can check whether it exists in the cache. And in this LFU cache, we also need these two data structure, but that is not enough because we also need to track the frequency. How to implement the frequency? Uh, the doubling list can record the visited order. That means when we visited a、uh, key value pair, we just、uh, remove that、uh, node and put that、uh, in the he-、uh, at the head. So we know that、uh, the node in the tail will be the least recently used. This is just、uh, one part. Another part is the frequency. So, at on the one hand, we need to record that、uh, visited order, but that order just、uh, useful when we at the same frequency. That means, uh, if all the node in the list all have the same frequency, that is once that all be visited by once, so that is useful. In that meaning, we can use a map that the key is an integer, and the value is the double linked list to record the frequency. That means the list that、uh, visited once.、And、that means the list node that we visited twice. Ah,、uh, in the LRU cache, we do not need to define our double linked list. Because the whole cache just used one list, but in the LFU cache, for every frequency, we need to maintain a list. 
So we also needed to define our own list. Actually, just put the operations in the LIU cache, like remove, remove tail, add head to this double linked list. Other things are the same. So wrap up. We need to define a node, which is a key value, and the prefix next. And for the LFU cache, we also need to. A uh, record the count. That means the times we visit that uh, key. And uh, as I said before, we need to define our double link list. And this is a dummy head and tail. Actually, they do not have the real meaning. This length means that the size of this list, how many nodes are in this list. Uh, remove that uh, means we remove the node. And add head, we add that node in the beginning. Remove tail, actually call this remove again. So for this LFU cache, we use two map. One for the quickly check whether that key exists. It's a, a big O1, which is constant time complexity. The frequency, well, that means the frequency and its responding list. Uh, for the LFU cache, we also need uh, to record the, the capacity and the size and the max frequency. Let's see this get function. We put this key. If the map get the key e equals to the null, which means we do not exist that key, we just return negative one. Otherwise, we need to change its frequency. So we can get uh, the previous count that will record in the node. Map get a key, which is a node, and get its count. And we get the list from the frequency map. We get a list. That means all the nodes in this list have the frequency as the previous count. Then we remove the node from the previous list. And we let the current count increment by one. Because when we call this get, we actually visit it once again. So now we get the current list, which we get from the frequency map, because they may have no node or has the same frequency, so we use get or default. And then we add the node to the current list. And finally, do not forget to put this to modified list to the uh, frequency map. OK, this is our get function. Let's see the put function. We first check whether it exists in the map. If it exists in the map, we just need to modify the value in the node. And we call this get function again. And we return. Otherwise, we need to add a new node. As is a new node, so its frequency should just be 1. The same in the get function, we get the current list, get or default at the for the a node that we visited once, and we add a node, add this node to its head. So we now have a new current list. If current size greater than capacity, we need to remove one node. If the current list length greater than one, that means we have some other node to remove. So we remove tail. Otherwise, we need to find the list used. We let the frequency start from two to the max frequency. So we also need a global variable that records the max frequency. And once the list lands greater than zero, we can call this remove tail. And uh, do not forget to break. And in the end, we need to put the frequency one and the current list to the frequency map. So we are done. OK, let's write the code. Oh, we have finished, OK? This is a node where that's the key value and also the count. Uh, node or brief and or next. So we call the constructor. Okay, we put uh, this k v. So q equal to k, val equal to v, count equal to one. Because we uh, initialize it, uh, we v to one, so count equal to one. They also write the doubly linked list. 
大米黑的 and the tail length the constructor double linked list so the head new node zero zero actually it、uh, doesn't matter tail new node zero zero so head dot next will equal to tail we connect them together tail prev equal to head and the length equal to zero because we do not have a、uh, node here. And now we need to write the function, which is the add head. We pass a node. So we first save the next, which is the head dot next. Then we need head dot next equal to the node. Node prev equal to the head, and node next equal to the next. Next prev equal to the node. Do not forget to let the length increment by one. Also. Let's first write the variables in the LFU cache. We need a map, which is integer, double linked list. That means the frequency, and also another map, which is the integer and its corresponding node. That is the map, and that's the capacity and the size, the max frequency. Okay, so when we add a head, we know we need to put that. Key node to the map, so map will put node dot key and the node. Okay, so what about the remove? Also pass a node. We save that previous node. That will be node prev, and node next will be the node next. Prev dot next will equal to next. Then next. Dot prev will equal to prev, so we just remove that node. We also need to remove that from the map, so we remove the node dot key, and let's increment by decrement by one. Uh, that will be the remove tail. We get the pre tail. That will be tail dot prev. Uh, yeah. Then we call this remove function remove tail. Okay. So now let's write the contractor in the LFU cache. So frequent will new hash map, and the map will be new hash map. This dot capacity will equal to capacity. Size will equal to zero. Max frequency at first equal to zero. Okay, get. We first check if map get key equal to none. We just return negative one. Otherwise, we get this node. That will be map get key. So we first get its previous frequency. That will be the node dot count. Right? Have you write count? Yes. Okay, the count. So we get the doubly linked、uh, list. Name the prev list. That will be frequent get the prev frequency. Then we need to remove the node from this previous list. Remove that node. Then we get a current frequency. That will be the prev frequency plus one. Then we get the Current list that will be frequency get or default because they may have no node equal to that uh, uh, frequency. So that will be current frequency or new a、uh, double linked list. Then we add、uh, the node add head that will be that node to the current list, but do not forget to change that、uh, node count. Node count will increment by one because we get it, so we wait it once more. So finally, put that new list to the frequency map. That will be prev frequency prev list frequency put current frequency current list. Uh. Okay. Finally, we return the node value. Okay, this is the get. Now let's write the put. 
this uh, node. Uh, we first uh, check because uh, actually there is an edge case if the capacity equal to zero. We just uh, return. We cannot put. And if the map gets a key do not equal to none, we just uh, change the value. So map gets the key. We get the node. We change the value to the value. And we call this get function. We just uh, need to change its frequency. Nothing else needed to change, so we return. Otherwise, we needed to add a new node. So new node, there will be key value. Oh, we first get uh, the doubly linked list. There will be the current list to frequency get uh, the frequency equal to 1 or default because they may have no node. New doubly uh, length list. Okay, get that. Then we add the current node to it because this is a new added node, so it has a frequency of one. And node, there will be node size increment by one. So if the size greater than capacity, we need to remove one node. We see if the current list dot length greater than one. We just uh, let the curl list uh, remove tail. Otherwise, we need to find that. So for int i equal to 2, i less or equal than max frequency, i plus plus. If the max frequency gets uh, i not equal to none, and the frequency get i the length greater than 0, we can remove we get that list and remove tail, right? Do not forget to break. Uh, so size should decrement by one. In the end, need to put the one and the current list to the frequency list, right? Uh, one thing I forget to change is the max frequency. Actually, when we change this current frequency, we can always get um, possibly uh, maximum frequency, so mass dot max, that will be max frequency and uh, current frequency. Okay, so I think I finished it. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.